Alright, yeah, so today we got another gameplay loop where we're just, um... We found ourselves in another gameplay loop where we're just, like, talking to a child constantly. Is there something weird and scary on my computer today? I mean, there is in real life every day. Let's see what we got here. I gotta sit down, it takes like a full minute. From Takashi Kinjo to Superstar? Is that me or am I reading like random people's emails? I'm really looking forward to meeting you. Bells are sure to ring in fanfare at that glorious moment. Please uh, give the girl my regards if you see her. She's bound to be late. She's always been that way, but she isn't the bad girl. I'm sure she'll like you, but please don't stop her. She's trying, into, trying to enter into a brand new world, so I want to save her. Please give me your support. Okay, yeah, I hope whatever's going on there is alright. So, like, that door I went out last time. If I go, like, this one... Nope. Okay, those are just, like, fake doors or something. You can't interact with those in any meaningful capacity. Maybe they're just, like, random people's houses, rooms, and, like, some apartment complex that I'm in. Oh, I'm going to the precinct? Because normally I go back to, uh... Kids' house, right? There's a scary noise playing, some kind of like scrapey industrial sound. Don't mess up with that. So I would like to know what the, what the text popping up in Japanese is saying. Let's talk to you, buddy boy. How about it? I've done okay with the gathering. That boy have anything to go on? You don't need to rush it. Take your time. Something will pop up eventually. Did you see that? Oh, they're more complicated. Us men can't really understand them. I... I think you could if you try. <laughs> There's a program. A really specific, original one. Shizu is especially complicated. She's out. Ass rapidly sticking her nose into forensic investigations, so she's being pressured by all these unspecific personalities. Protecting her own self consciousness is all she can do. Her job is to take in other people's consciousnesses, you know? It's basically she's like the fortune tellers in Mount Osori. It's a really tough job. It'll get better once the storm blows over. She just needs to be left alone for a bit. She's not a little kid anymore. Once she remembers that she's a professional cop, she'll be back. Anyway, Bufkin, you'd best solidify a position here while she's yours up. Alright, let's go. Bufkin, we're gonna check out the area around the complex. See if we can get any info from the locals. This isn't glamorous work, but this is important too. Really? The results of our questioning have already disappeared from backup. That's in the past. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket. I got my way of doing things. Let's go. He was um, surprisingly reasonable about her it seemed before, if I was interpreting what he was saying correctly. Also, I don't actually know where I'm going, so that's pretty cool. I was, uh, well, I was would have liked to look around a bit more. I didn't know if that was the front door or not. <laughs> Because of how weird every all the layouts are, but yeah, I'm starting to get understand like the rhythm of this game a bit, like all the aesthetics. Is it gonna show the car? Yeah, car driving. Oh, well, we're parked, I guess. Sorry, buff gun. Gotta take a quick piss, as you do. Oh. There's a woman. She's vaguely scary in this context. She's looking at... What? What's gonna move out? That's Shizuru. Oh, is that Shizuru? I didn't... I didn't recognize her. I mean, you normally only get like one... 
headshot of the characters, so it's hard, it can be hard to tell what they are in like different contexts. I thought, I thought he said we, were, we needed to like leave her alone. Why are we tailing her now? You there, stop the vehicle. Oh, so you're gonna be an event? I think here's some sort of conflict. See, I don't recognize her there. Look, guns driving? He's pretty good. So what do you want? I'm off duty right now. I'm just a civilian. What is this? Desperate driving? You're oh, such a good girl. Want me to... Okay, this is gross. Whatever. I told you, I have my own way of doing things. So? Is this your new partner? Good time. By the way... Is it some sort of structural problem that the steel is cheap and there are old marks everywhere? Can I talk to you in private for a second? I'm fine. Why are you turning me down? I'm not. In that case. Do you understand? I don't care. This shouldn't be the time for thinking. Well, more than anyone, you should. Your father, huh? Stop it. Don't even bring that name up. I'm just a doll. Can't change anything. Wolfgang, can you head off to the scene on your own? Sorry, don't ask. Start questioning people thoroughly. Check every apartment. The inner garden too. Try going back again. The mystery is there. Don't forget to talk to people. Now get on it. I guess their situation is more just complicated than anything. Not really direct directly relevant, uh, at least right now, to what I'm doing. It's nice though for like having more detail, more world building towards like... The world of the game. So... He said to check everywhere, so I will be like exhausting the map. I mean there's no one here, right? Oh, there's a scary ghost here. Alright, not what I was expecting, but I won't allow it. I won't let anyone bully Koichi. Oh, this is um what's his name? The dead this is that kid soul? Hikaru? He's got a scary soul. Hey, hey is that the kiddo? Is he up? Yep, yeah, he is. He's waving his, fr his ha hands with two frames of animation. Hey, over here. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Get up and come here. There's the dead soul of your friend, Koichi. Forgive me, Koichi. I'm sorry. Oh, well, it looks like your friend's dead, but that's... Alright, I'll go up and greet the kid before we do anything else. I mean... The other apartments probably won't have anything like, interesting to do there anyways, so... I mean, I, I think they put that in, like, check every apartment just as a line, although maybe we could be talking to people, but... This is what I feel like doing right now. Was he on the third? He was on the fourth floor, wasn't he? Yeah, now we get to sit through this whole cutscene again 20 times. Mm -hmm. This is 402. I haven't finished questioning yet. Okay, well that's, that's cool. So I do need to go down and start at the bottom. Alright, we'll work our way top down then, since I'm here. Oh, there is someone, that's... Huh? The cops? What do you want? Oh, the suicide from earlier, yeah. What a bunch of trouble. When stuff like that happens, the value drops. You're callous. Ah, so this place, obviously. At night, I was at home. I ate dinner, watched the sport news, did some work I brought home. 
economy is bad all over. I envy you guys. It's not like you have to worry about going bankrupt or anything. Now is the time to spend. Use up all the company's budget. Do whatever you want, you know? Get trouble for everyone else and then... Cause trouble for everyone else and then let another department wipe your ass. Anything I noticed? No, nothing really. Oh yeah, I think it's the guy on the fifth floor, maybe? Yeah, I heard footsteps. Footsteps going up to the fifth floor. Now, it's probably not even related, but just in case. I've ne never actually met the guy on the fifth floor. I mean, it's the first time I, even, I ever got the sense he actually lives there, you know? Yeah, okay, also, this is just my own personal idea, but... I think that Hiruma on the third floor got killed by Hikaru's ghost. What are you talking about all of a sudden? I see Hikaru's ghost pretty often, so it's not just me. You don't believe me, do you? Oh, so everyone sees ghosts. I'm not just, that's not just a gameplay loop. And so, Hiruma probably did something he to Hikaru, maybe killed him somehow, or at least was not nice to him when he was alive, and so then that would check out actually so now now everyone's home not everyone so i was gonna say like that that seems like a lot of people they'd be having for just this little section but they're only gonna fill some of the apartments that makes sense 302 mm -hmm. still investigating i have nothing to talk about Hiruma always came home late. Probably had some kind of flashy job. I never really ran into him much. I think he was at home during the day a lot. I could hear noises sometimes, but I've never really seen him going out anywhere. It's so creepy. That stuff that happened next door and the kid upstairs dying. I'm considering moving out of here soon. I mean, wouldn't you? Kids around that age, they play around a lot, yeah. It could be troublesome, but they get yelled at every time they all know where to play, right? They were building something out of cardboard in my space in the parking lot. You know, like you do when you're a kid. You play like that too, right? Remembering the old days makes me feel really nostalgic. I don't want to break this thing down, except for the time being I just parked on the street. I ended up getting a ticket. Oh, by the way, Detective, could you maybe say something to the traffic unit or someone? Tell them about my situation. It's a good enough excuse, right? At that time, I have to answer again. Both of us work, so we eat out every day. I took the car to pick my wife, and we ate at a family restaurant at maybe around 10.30. Then we went by Blockbuster. Oh, I mean the video shop, you know? I had the third season of Millennium of the new releases section, so I rented that. Yeah, I have to see. Here, it says the time was 11.40 and I rented two videos, see? This place, if you rent two or, no, two or more new releases, you can keep them for three days, so it's a bargain. So we came back home just past 12. So how about it? It's a good enough alibi, right? You see this kind of thing on TV and stuff. Oh, and here, we went by the convenience store, too. This was 11.52. After that, the two of us just watched videos. Oh yeah, I heard this from my wife, but... When the detectives tried to go into the apartment next door the other day, they made a big fuss about the key not fitting into the lock. And when they checked it out, someone put a sticker over the keyhole. It makes us feel a bit closer, doesn't it? What, that wasn't funny? Well, this is about all I have to talk about. I like how everyone goes like, I have nothing to say to you, and then like immediately launches on a five minute monologue. And we'll check out this place here. Maybe they only have one person on each floor. Maybe not. Yes. Police. Uh, about the jumper from the other day, huh? Anything strange? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I did hear a sound. Maybe that was the sound from when the guy jumped. Otherwise, that's about it. I also, just before then, it looked like your room had just gotten back. Yeah, I could hear his footsteps. It's pretty quiet here, so adult footsteps really reverberate. What else? 
I did hear the sound of a motorcycle. That was definitely the younger guys on the second floor's exhaust, I'm sure of it. But you know that guy on the second floor? He looks kind of sketchy, but he's actually a good guy. Look into him, I'm sure you'll see. Is that the reporter that I played as? I think it's Tokyo? Tokyo? Wasn't that a suicide? I think that's it on this floor, actually. So yeah, now we're going down to the second floor. I will keep investigating tomorrow. This is actually pretty good. Like, this is interesting, getting to, like, talk to all the different people bounce between everyone. It kind of... Having different characters and that kind of breaks up the... Monotony. So yeah.